The Bishop of Sarawak greets the Duchess of Kent as she arrives at Kuching, accompanied by her young son, the Duke. Already, the Duchess has traveled many thousands of miles on her goodwill tour of Southeast Asia, and now she inspects the Guard of Honor mounted by the Sarawak Constabulary. Thousands of schoolchildren have journeyed many miles to greet her and to see for themselves their most honored visitor from Britain. But it is not only the children Her Royal Highness greets. Workers in the Salvation Army come in for special attention. The following day, the Duchess joins the congregation who have gathered to watch her lay the foundation stone of the new Sarawak Cathedral. As they watch the Duchess perform the ceremony, the onlookers recall the words of the Bishop in his address that it is with their faith in God that they begin their task of erecting a cathedral that will proclaim their beliefs to all. Dayaks, resplendent in their native costumes, throng the route. The Duchess takes on her tour of Cebu, which is to include the formal opening of the new hospital of Lao King Hao. Children representing the races who live in Sarawak hand the scissors to Her Highness with which to perform the ceremony and as a reward pose for a snapshot with the Duchess. At the residency at Cebu, chieftains express their delight in the royal visit by bringing gifts, symbols of their goodwill and loyalty. A gesture by the Duchess that delights the crowd is when she tries on a coolie's hat. It is by such simple human actions as these that the Duchess has won the warm affection of people wherever she has traveled on a journey that has done much to strengthen the bonds between the countries of our empire.